Oh, we back, everybody. Welcome to the fucking Mad Deep, uh, the Mad Deep, uh, what's it called? Nameless. Madhouse. The Madhouse. We're at the Madhouse episode one live show. Shout out to everybody pulling up. We're here, OTG Nick. There, there I am right there on camera going crazy. We just got in. Guys, what's up with everybody? We're going to be reacting to some funny fucking videos, and we're going to go crazy. I actually need to not cuss because it's going to demonetize it. What are you doing, Nick? What's up, Nick? What you been on? OPG Nick, you know, said, dude, I just came back from Columbia. You know, it's the vibes. Ski. Hold up. I'm going to go mute the thing real quick. Because that's like... Yeah, got my little hair. Okay. Okay, cool. Now we're back. Awesome. Okay, so what's up? We got Nameless on the boards. Yo, got yo, Big yo. Rick in the back. It's the ghost with we the mouth. everybody going crazy. We out here. So this is the second episode of Madhouse. The first episode. No, this is, this is the first episode of Madhouse live. The first live episode. Yeah, absolutely. You know, so, we out here trying to get monetized and shit. Yep. 800 deep. Shout out to all the subs. Shout out to everybody watching right now. Yeah. So <laughs> He's trying to get us fucking demonetized already. He's trying to get us copyright. They can't hear it. They can hear. No, it. it's okay. You don't have to do that on the mic. That's bad podcasting. <laughs> you could just play that afterwards. They could play it on the. Hey yo, so right? Nick, how was Columbia, fool? Tell yeah. us about Columbia. Tell us about Columbia. Start us off a little bit. It was you're, lit. You've been gone for a minute, bro. The people out there drive crazy. If you could drive in Columbia, you could drive anywhere. For real, in this world. In Colombia, why? What happened? Why? Bro, they drive crazy, bro. No, like I, I, it's like something I can't explain, fam. Like you have to be there to believe it, to see it. Like, like, bro, people. Okay, say like there's three lanes, right? Somehow there's a some somehow somebody finds a fourth lane. I don't know how you've been to Colombia before me. I'm actually Colombian. You're not even Colombian, bro. Let me tell you how I went, gang. All right, so I was getting the cut from my boy, right? And my homegirl, Dell called me. And she said, boy, you going to get on a plane at 6 o'clock? Mind you, I'm getting my hair cut at 2 what? already. And um, I already have some, like, problems, so I can't, you know, get all my stuff ready and uh-huh. stuff like that. But uh, it was lit, bro. Going, it was so much fun. The people were insane. I love the people out there. I love y'all supporters. I love the people out there. Um, you know. So what'd you do out there though? Like, did you like? Because Columbia's pretty crazy. Like, did you basically just networked with the homies I there, and then went to a bunch of disco tech guys because that's what they call them. They don't call them clubs. They call them disco tech guys. Disco tech guys. But you gotta understand, every disco tech guy is a is a whorehouse. Really? Yeah, it's not like a club. You go there to get your to get your job done, and then you you know you go back to your hotel and then you get your job done again. Really? That's really what it's about what? out there. And it, it the poverty is terrible, bro. Like the kids they want they want everything from you. Like they get clo- it's they get too close to you. Like if you go to the barrio by yourself and you don't know nobody there, you shouldn't be there. Like respectfully. Like the hoods of Colombia? Yes. What city were you in? You were in the Barranquilla, Cartagena, Galap. We were in the Galapas. We're in the hood in the trenches for real with the hitmen and the and the drug dealers, you know it's the deal. Yeah. <laughs> OTG off the grid. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Nick Bro um, Yeah dude You were gone for like Two weeks And no I was gone for only like a week No you were gone for two it weeks It felt like two weeks No you were gone for two weeks Cause wow. I remember you left on a Friday And then you came back on like Not the next Friday But the Friday after that And I was like What the fuck But we got a lot of stuff to talk about today You guys seen Sexy Red's uh, sex tape? No Yes I wanna watch it let's, No Let's throw it on No I'm so, Wait I, I watched it because I was on Twitter and Twitter um, has everything. Yeah, Twitter has everything. I didn't know what I was looking at, and then it just popped up. Um, I just see sexy red video trending, and I'm like, oh, what, like what's like what what she do or whatever, because you know my post it. But then I see, oh, she got her her sexy leap, and I was like, damn, that's kind of crazy. You know what's crazy, bro? You didn't watch it? Nah, but this is what's crazy <laughs> to me, fam, is that I feel like every artist they always get their shit leaked. Yeah, well, I don't know. Like I, when I make it, I know for a fact my shit's gonna get leaked, but I ain't even gonna give a fuck. I think it was like revenge porn, if I'm not mistaken. Revenge? Illegal. Yeah. So like a base- Ooh, I'm if someone ever does it to me, they get in sued for sure. I think I think that's what it was because I think she was regretful and didn't wasn't trying to actually like post it. From what I understand. Huh? 
Like she, I don't think she meant to drop it. Like she didn't just drop it. Like I this think, is what I think has happened. Cause uh, how how many days ago was it when that dude posted that he was with her, and everyone's like, oh, it was all viral. Like oh my god, look at this dude. He post he posted sexy red after he clapped cheeks. Oh, you think it was him? Of course it was. Who else the fuck would it be? I don't know, bro. You that, know that that fool that fool that, like fool, a that fool is a fucking clout chaser. He did that shit to sexy red already. So obviously he's around her with that phone. You know what I mean? It's fucking. You think it could have been someone else? Who else would fucking do that? Someone else that she was messing around with? I don't know. Probably. You never know. Yeah. You never know, bro. Like, I think maybe it was that cloud chaser guy. When you think about it, just because if you if never really person, know who it, uh, who it could get closer be. to the mic, Nick. You never really know who it ever could be. You know what I'm well, saying? Well, I think it's that fool because he was already doing some fucking cloud chasing shit, and it, and that right there shows he already had access to the phone. Yeah. You think it was her her footage or his footage? I think it like well think about it, fool. When 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 you be smashing, you grab the bitch's phone sometimes and record and shit. So it was probably already on there and food just like, oh I'm gonna clap cheeks some more. Duh, duh, duh. <laughs> That's you right. just do like you just do that? I clap cheeks. <laughs> you just grab the phone and start recording? Well, fool, if you freaky and shit, I don't know how you get down with <laughs> your bitch and shit. Do it? <laughs> Can I tell you how I do it? <laughs> Come here, bitch. Give me that phone. <laughs> no, because, like, because, like, because, like, mm, yeah. Yeah. No. I'll fucking be right. on the mic. Cause I, no, because, bro. I we, took a video the other day. Wouldn't you just, See? There you go. See? Yeah. Told you. Told you. Bro, you. I just, I just grab my phone. They don't trick. Rec- Who's they? Nick? Like, whoever, whoever <laughs> you're. What you mean, they? Like, whoever, like, whoever, I don't know. Like, they don't trip. Like, the person. The they, them? Yeah, oh, the person. Yes, the person. Yeah. No, the person never trips. The oh, person. You wanna know why? Why? Because they shouldn't trip. Because, you know, to be honest, I, I I don't think I'm like, hey, you know, with the phone, like oh, I'm gonna pull it out. I kind of just grab it, pull out the recording. <laughs> oh, get close to the mic. <laughs> yeah, for oh, real. Oh my god. Get close to the mic. I kind of just sit grab- closer to the mic. Yeah. Ooh, come on. Or yeah, move it. Fix there the you mic, go. fix the mic, because you're like, you're all right, like, all right. you're like <laughs> <laughs> Oh, got it, got it, got it. Ooh, like, so good. Like, so good. smooth. He lucky. Someone to see that. Okay, cool. So basically, what we were talking about was um, what were we talking about? I completely forgot. Basically, when sexy red, nah, recording while 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 booty hole brown. Sex. Wait, can I can I cuss now or will we get demonetized? No, you could. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, you're like good. first five minutes. Are we good now? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, why you why you recording while you fucking? Basically. Um, I kind of just grab the phone and I kind of just start, you know, recording. I don't really ask them for consent or anything. I just kind of just do my, my movie because. <laughs> like, like what happens if she fucking flips on you yeah. and says that she didn't allow that? Well, then you delete it. And then you're like, oh, okay. you're already, that's too late at that point. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> you're kind of fucked at that point. Yeah. I feel like, I, point, but, you know, like but I feel like you. Ne- All right. Keep going. Me personally, I think like. You know, when you're talking to a girl, you're like, damn, eh? like, are you a freak or something, right? And <laughs> it should be like, what do you mean? Like, yeah, you know, do, do you record? Are you down for that? You know what I'm saying? And then it should be like, yeah, or no, or whatever. And she says, yeah, like, I'm down. Be like, bet. So, like, if me and you were fucking around, you wouldn't be offended if I pull my phone out or nothing? Hell nah. At least you know you've talked about it. Yeah. But, like, imagine if she turns around and catches you with the phone in your hand while you're fucking clapping cheeks doggy style, fool. Yeah, that's what about lips. Sex says, offender. What the fuck are you doing? Yeah, that puts you on some creep shit. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not saying that you're a creep, but you know. So then, like, what would you do if a girl just randomly started recording you, though? Hypothetically? Y'all know what I'm doing. Oh, ha, bitch got here with that shit. Oh, bro, she's getting her shit. Wham! Oh, God. This fool put a slapper. Bro. Yeah, bro, there ain't no way in hell you gonna. But you just. Me. Wait, hold up. Wait, 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 Okay, I mean, why not? Well, I mean, what would be the instance? What's that where, taken away from me? What would be the instance where you wouldn't like that, or you would be offended if there was some gay shit going on? <laughs> like what, dog? <laughs> what? Like, what's like, gonna, like, what's gonna, gonna make wait, them wait. laugh, bro? What's gonna if happen? There was some, if, if you got like, if you got a man's booty in there, <laughs> yo, what? <laughs> Like mean, another person or you yours? Like Yo, if what, nah, nah, if it was your booty on there, you would start dying, boy. Like you would, you'd be like, no, you know, like it would like be just like, your butt, like you'd be yeah, like, yeah, oh, bro, it'd be nah. gay. Would you? 
But if she's sucking, you would you? The, but if she's sucking on the blower, it's cool. <laughs> yeah. All right. I ain't gonna lie, dog. I thought about doing a porno called fucking a uh, headless horse rider. That's different. <laughs> that way you don't see like my fucking head. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like headless horse. Rider. Gives a fuck. Call it headless horse rider and shit. <laughs> oh, you know what I'm saying? Damn. Imagine your imagine your clapping cheeks and it sounds like fucking. What if you started OnlyFans though? What I started OnlyFans? Yeah, I mean, fuck if you paying shit, let's go. Like make like make Can I be honest? What's up? I would start OnlyFans. Hell yeah. I've been, paying, I've been asked go. about it and Bro, I'll probably be the first person to get paid to put my clothes back on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I love that. Yeah, I, bro. There's people that that already have asked me to do OnlyFans, but it's weird because I know the people that are gonna watch it are gonna be gay people. Which I have no problem because money ain't gay, but still, you know, that's... <laughs> I don't... What you're saying, you're saying that they're... Saying. Okay, let me ask you a real question. Money ain't gay. No, 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 I gotta you ask you a question. girls are gonna watch, 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 watch All right, that? Why? Let me ask girls you a don't question. even really watch porn. Let me ask you a question. What's your price tag to do gay porn? I'm not doing... It's not about being gay, though. It's about a paycheck. I'm not doing... Because money ain't gay, right? Bro, <laughs> money ain't gay, right? No, because you you have to respect yourself at the end of the day. I'm saying, like, if you put... If you, if you fucking a girl on camera... So you're saying that you'd say no you to a gay, porn, a, a gay porn scene for oh, $7 million. Oh, gay. No, because then you sell your soul. I might, I'd rather sell my soul spiritually rather than sell my soul. I mean, I was just checking. You know, I wasn't saying I'd do it. I'm just checking though that nah, you know, to see what you got to respect pay. yourself, bro. I would never do that. Disrespecting my my people's like that. Like they didn't bring no faggot into this world. So I yo can't. demonetized. Yo, demonetized. Thanks, Thanks a lot, canceled. R.I.P. Mad got demonetized. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Nick. Hey, shout out to Audrey in the chat. She said Nick is so fine. Shout out to all the LGBTs too. What chat? <laughs> hey, Audrey said you're cute. What Thank are you doing you, with Audrey. That? I appreciate you. I bet you're beautiful too, baby girl. I love you. This motherfucker is so funny. Hey, tell her about who you are though, about Mr. OTG, Mr. AK, Mr. Kickdown, yo dough. S580, baby, give me brain. Told her I can take the pain away if you stay away. Audrey. Karma's a bitch. That's why I cut the wolf's neck. Tell him oh what the God. cutting the wolf's neck is. Do you want me to tell him what you told me? Yes. All right. So Nick made a song and he put a lyric that says, Karma's a bitch. That's why I cut off the wolf's neck. And he's referring to, what are you referring to? Voodoo, right? No, brother. Voodoo's Haitian. Oh, I don't fucking know. Like, what do you, okay, well, why don't you break it down? Because I'm obviously, I don't know what I'm like saying. Like Santeria? S Santeria, like rituals? right? Rituals? So can you like break that down a little bit more for the people that don't know? Or not. And people who do like basically I don't I don't know how you would describe it. I feel like basically like black magic, right? <clears throat> oh yes, black magic. There you go. That's like the term I'm looking sorcery, for. The terminology like, I'm looking for. So yeah, so basically you you will never get karma if you cut the wolf's neck. So if you ever if for some reason, however, I don't know how you get you you get a wolf brought to you by somebody that you paid for, which you you do have to pay a certain type of money, which is going to be a lot because doing things like that does not come cheap. You will so, get, you will be gifted, you know. I feel like because that's what that's that's how she was putting it, right? That you would be gifted with 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 certain things that make it so that you have a defense. When like you cut a like wolf's neck, man. you get rewarded in good karma. Is what you're saying? No, like how how would how would the homegirl's mom describe it? I don't know. Like black magic. I guess it would be like black magic. Remember she told period. she said she said whatever touches her would, would like whatever would ha whatever like bad happens to her would happen worse ten times to the other person. Really? Yes. Rick, have you believe? Have you do you, you, believe are, you black magic? are you hip to this stuff? Um, I'm hip to the religion Santa Muerte. Um, and, and, or the faith to say, I, I do know about it Is that what that's and called? I'm going to tell you, like, I don't knock any one person that has a belief and thinks certain things and all that. What are you looking at? It's a uh, um, nameless. No, I, I don't knock anybody who believes anything like that. You know, like I know some people believe in their faith strongly more than others, but at the end of the day, I know that shit's real. That's yeah, real. like I'm gonna tell you something. I, I've I've seen like some crazy shit, you know, like people predict or whatnot. And, and I do. I have heard that if you use you know your magic in a black in a bad way, you know, it could come back to you worse. I've heard a bunch of stuff like that. Um, 
I don't really want to be like in it enough to know if it really happens or not, but I've seen like some things that make me respect the space. Mm. That's interesting. I've heard a lot of stories too. I've heard a lot of crazy shit too. Look, I've heard shit my whole fucking life, right? I've heard you know, shit. Bloody Mary in the window and the window, La Llorona. That I don't but I'm gonna tell you about this fucking the, the Santa Muerte, the Santeria, that religion, bro. It's a, you know, it, people believe in it for a reason. And obviously people have seen and believe things that have happened to them because of that. And me, when I see somebody say something or something like that and it happens, then I usually like, damn, all right, I respect that. I respect the space. Whether I believe in it or not, I respect like enough for me not to go play with it. Right. Someone said Big Rick in the chat. Someone said Big Rick. Balaclava shouted, shouted you out. Shout out Balaclava. Shout out Balaclava. Shout out <laughs> Big Rick in the chat. Let's get some trucks in the chat, you dig? Put a motherfucking bear up for me. That's tight. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what do we got on the what do we got on the on the list today to talk about? I'm ready. Where should we start? I'm ready to get Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. What's up? How many likes we got in this motherfucker right now? For real, huh? Let's stop. This is our first fucking like show, y'all. Comments? Like, hey, yeah. slam the fucking like button. Slam the like, everybody, please. Share this shit with your friends. Let's get the views up. If your friends are watching, this is live, man. Get them in. You guys can interact in the chat. Share share the pod with your friends. Get them involved. Let's go. Hit Absolutely. the like button. Yeah, get it up. Fucking chat. Ask your questions. Ask whatever you guys want to ask. You know what I'm saying? This is your time to jump in this shit and be a part of the show, too. This yeah. is the time. Yeah, yeah sir. Let's ask some no, questions. Ask some go. questions. Thanks to Big Rick, for real. Real mentor to us all. So, hey, yo, Audrey wants to know: Does 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 Nick hate gay people? <laughs> <laughs> Nick, do you hate gay people? Because, bro, like, I'm not gonna. Lie. Yeah. I don't think that you hate gay people, but no, I don't hate gay. I know people. you don't. I know you don't. I love. No, 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 no. Actually, I don't because a lot of my clients are actually gay, and I fuck with them, and they actually watch our our show. Shout out to them. No, for real. Like I do, I fuck with them heavy because I feel like in the space that we're in, you're gonna see a lot of people that are gay. And there's nothing wrong with gay people. I just feel like there's a problem with people that do a little too much and do too extra. And, and that's what I have a problem with. But my the way I speak is the way I speak. I'm going to speak like that forever. I, I, I allow them to know that. And uh, the people that are my friends that are gay, they have no problem with that. So if you have a problem with it, fuck you. Damn. But the money can't be gay. <laughs> the money's never gay. Money's the never money's gay. never gay. gay. <laughs> money, money has no gender. Money has friend. no gender, only a color. You dig? Money. You dig? The Very money sus. has no gender. But what should we start with today? What you guys want to start off? We'll start off with we'll watch some videos. What do you What do you have? What do you have for us today? Oh, uh, you know what? Let's go tap in on. Uh, tap in. Let's tap in on, on Southwest, or should we tap in on you? Let's tap in on, on your page. On my tap page? in on tap something. On yeah, let's tap in. Let's see what's going. No. What y'all need to tap into is Mr. OTG over here because he's about to start rapping. He's about to start making some crazy music. What y'all need to start doing is going to OTG Barber and I need some clients. Guys, if you need your haircut, Mr. Yes, OTG, OTG Barber. Hey, hey, Mr. Kickdown Yo Duck. I am located in the More Eagle Rock. Oh, okay. More than willing to cut your hair at a reasonable price. Okay, we yes, bring it, I am located in the up, Eagle Rock, <clears throat> Los Angeles area. <laughs> Come get, come get at me, please. Okay. It's a little bit delayed, so whenever you have it popped up, I don't think we'll be able to. Nah, yeah, I know it's a little bit delayed, but we we on there. For this, a couple seconds. I just want to ask y'all, how do y'all like the set? Because I, I think the green light, it makes it look sick, but like this makes it look really like perfect. I think so, yeah. Like, like this like looks green real, light or not? this looks really good. Like, I need guys, we need to know in the chat, we need everybody to... When you remember this fucking, setup, right, like like we button. do the green light again? Let's tap in with this right here. Oh shit! What I just do? I just lost it. Hey, just, can you go to the guy trying to fade the clown, please? <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Is it the study oh, show? Oh god! No, yeah. I don't want to watch him. He's let's the, let's see what's up with the clown fade, bro. The clown fade or the or the or the. the clown or do you speak fade. Spanish? About half of us. Look at him. Hey, shout out Southwest Connected. Go follow Southwest Connected on Instagram if you know what's good for you, baby. You already know the deal. Do y'all even know who Southwest Connected really is? Do y'all even know who OTG Nick is? Here like, we go. Here we go. Is there audio? Any Malley. Oh shit! <laughs> he was trying to get down. <laughs> is this real? Yeah, hold on. Let, let, let's let's fucking find it again. Oops, my bad. Oh, I thought he was like, look at this shit. <laughs> What's up? Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> what he did? Did you just get pressed by a by a clown? Pretty, pretty much. <laughs> Bro, just got pressed by a clown. That's crazy. Why is he trying to fake the crowd Look at him. Ah, he's dead. <laughs> that fool walked away all pissed. Yeah, no. What's up? What's up? What's up? <laughs> What's up? Then? That fool tried to make peace by shaking his hand. He's like, "Fuck you." And that fool gets all offended. Damn, is he really like pressed? Like that fool's really pressed. Dude. Nah, he's not pressed. He's scared, bro. You know what? Wait, this is funny. But can we talk about the next topic? The next thing next to this post that you posted? The, okay, yeah, yeah. The yeah. You, let's uh, get let's get into it. Let's get into it. Let's get into that. Okay. So study shows that fifty percent of U.S. Latinos who can't speak Spanish have been ashamed by other Latinos for not being mm -hmm. able to speak it. And right here we got my boy right here, and this fool looks like he doesn't speak Spanish. <laughs> That's why. That's why I use this fool right here, fool. Okay, yeah. my opinion on this is like. Let me let me move your fool to the corner. Hold up. I don't speak Spanish, bro. I do. So this is a good combo. I don't think I don't think you're any less. What the fuck? That's what fuck I'm you, Kenny. Oh, do you want me to? Wait, do you want me to tell you that I, you are less or no? I'm saying you are not any less Hispanic because you don't speak Spanish. Oh, you yeah. know why you're saying fuck me or like what's up? No, most deaf, <laughs> most deaf. He's telling the truth. Wait, everybody can see our, our stuff. All right, there we go, fool. Uh oh. What is it looking at, bro? Oh no, it's moving shit around. It's just OBS. It's, it's I was just adjusting shit. Don't even trip about it. Oh, so it's let's not get back on topic. Okay, so Nick, do you speak Spanish? I don't speak Spanish, but I am learning Spanish because of all my Spanish speaking friends that I'm Good around. For you. Which I do have a lot of Spanish speaking friends. And yes, I am learning Spanish. But yes, it does suck. That's what's up. I'm not gonna lie, I've, I've made fun of a couple of people that don't speak Spanish. Yeah, bro. That's speaking. fucked up, fool. No, but they would tell some shit to me first though. Like I wouldn't I wouldn't try to go. Oh well in that case then fuck those fools. Why are they starting shit? Yeah. Balaclava says the twenty sixteen killer clown sightings. <laughs> y'all remember that? Bro, do y'all have any questions for us? I want to answer some questions from you guys. Ooh, there's, like like five a... there's like three people in the chat, fool. Like, no, there's no questions for us. There's today. no questions, bro. Okay. It'll come, it'll go to that point, though. It'll build to that point. Let's see what else we got going on. Like, that's how you start getting upset, though. You start answering questions. Oh, no. Los Chapitos, food. They ordered the immediate ban and sell and production of fentanyl. That's a. That's like El Chapo's sons, homie. But that's a. That's... I mean that's good, right? Not his son. Yeah, that is good. No, I mean, Fuck fentanyl. Like not like we don't promote the sale of fentanyl. Yeah, they. Well, what, what I, I was getting, what people, what people were speculating was uh, someone from from their, their crew, or whatever, took some bad shit, and it was a very what's it called? It was a a pillar in the community of, um. and yeah, so they. That's what I'm hearing. So. They're owning an immediate. Let's read it. Los Chapitos, a group run by the sons of El Chapo and affiliates of CDS, say they do not decone the sale, transport, or production of fentanyl in the state of Sinaloa, Mexico. Anyone caught will be subject to consequences. They also say they've never took part in fentanyl trade. This comes after the heat from the Mexican government as they continue to search for El Chapo's sons. So it's a little bit of that, it's a little bit of this, but. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. Um, I want to shout out uh, Cry Me a River in the chat. A mad deep, a mad deep live LFG. I forgot what that means, but I know that's. Yeah, let's here. fucking go. Let's fucking go. Let's go. Shout out to Cry Me a River. Yes, yeah, I don't like, know it's why our that first shit sounded like something different. <laughs> LFG, like that fool was banging on us. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and then I thought that you were banging on us. <laughs> nah, let's fucking go. I like. So yeah, fuck fentanyl. Shout hey. out, shout out to Blazzy, and you know, shout out to Blazzy and all of his uh his shirts and the he's he's, he's been pushing that fuck fentanyl line for a long time. Bro, it's it's beautiful to see Blasi, the. Bro. It's beautiful to see the actual cartels really. You you know, <laughs> stepping up and saying "fuck this shit." Yeah. Um, Nameless, can you throw me the lighter? Food. Well, if you think about it, like I don't think anybody just wakes up looking for fentanyl. Yeah, fuck those. You know? people, but you gotta throw a, a lot of people that that have died from fentanyl. You know, people say, "Oh, they OD'd on fentanyl," and I actually don't think that was it. I think that Still they. Uh, when you're done. I think that they um they didn't OD on fentanyl. You know, that may be like the toxology report, but when they went bought their pill or their sack or whatever, they weren't asking, you know, to be fucking poisoned with Fenny. Right. And so think about how many people like cluelessly went to their deaths because they were like <clears throat> just chasing their addiction. Yeah. Which wasn't fentanyl. That's a lot of people, though. That's like a lot right. of people here, too. 
A lot of people it here fentanyl. Hey. taking fake perks and stuff like that, unfortunately losing their lives. Um, I mean, that's pretty good on the on on their part to to ban that and to kind of I'm assuming that if anyone gets caught like selling it then they're going to kind of reprimand them in the way that they see fit which you know if you're familiar with they're going to hang them from the freeway and shit you do not want to fuck with them Nah bro so. I do not want to fuck with the cartel Yeah no nah. <laughs> I don't even want to fuck with the police in Colombia for real. I don't want to fuck with nobody in any foreign country ever but yeah. USA I'd rather get locked up here oh. be out there. I swear to God, I don't know what they'll do to me, bro. I promise you that. They'll chop you up, for real. Bro, oh my God. I seen, like, I seen animals be killed, like, in front of my eyes. In like, Columbia? stabbed in the heart. Yes, bro. Like, imagine going there. The kids out there, they play. They don't fight. They don't catch fades, bro. They they fight like this. What? They fight like this, yeah. With because the, they practice like as if they're playing with a machete. That's pretty crazy. And in my homegirl's video, you're going to see that the machete, they clanking it on the ground. Clack, 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 clack. Speaking to the mic. You feel me? Yeah. Out there, the kids, they fight with knives. And then and then adults, they, 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 they fight with knives and shit like that. Nobody ever fights with their hands or you get shot. Really? Yeah. Savage. And then out there, it's so, it's so like, it's so fucked up <clears throat> that you can pay your way out. Of anything out there. Like, if you got bread and you kill someone, 15 bands, go give it to them. You're out, I swear to God. Really? That's, just, that's crazy. God. Yeah, dude, South America's fucked up. And if and if you in a bulletproof car, you don't have to get out the whip. They don't make <laughs> you get out the whip at all. Because if you do and you get shot, it's their fault. The, the cops out there? Yeah. If they make you get on, you get shot, it's their fault? Yeah. Damn, that's crazy. That's wild. What Fuck the next cops time? in Colombia. Why would they do? They pulled me out of the car and they searched me. And they went through everything, bro. And they were going to take my fake hundreds, the ones from the Rancho Milde event that I stole. <laughs> and you know what? You had fake hundreds on you? Them. You took them home with you? Hell you yeah, them I took them home, bro. Name is... That is so crazy. I took them home with me because, because I wanted to... Fitness. What are you going to do with those hundreds? Give it to somebody in exchange for weed. Hoping I got an ounce from me. That money's fake as fuck, bro. I don't care. You're yeah. dumb if you Yo, think. real quick, shout out to Voice of the Vario in the chat. What's up, my boy? Let's shout, go shout out, out to Voice, Voice of the Vario. Of the you know it's the deal. Raposo. Let's go. That's what I'm hoping you're from. Vario Raposo, huh? Obviously, uh You're from the Vario? Where Vario you from? Nah, Voice of the Vario. That's the homie right there, fool. Yeah? Oh. That's the homie, homie, homie. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. He's not from Colombia. Oh. Because in Colombia, if they say, they'll say, oh, they, what vario they're from. Oh, really? Yeah, not like what gang, but what vario. Yeah, that, yeah, that means like neighborhood in Spanish. Basically. Pretty much. Obviously, but like, you yeah. know. That's why. What you got? What do we got next up? Uh, let's see. Which one you guys want to get into? You guys want to get into the Tupac Kifi D shit? Nah, I don't know nothing much about that shit. I don't mm -hmm. know that shit. I didn't want. Oh, you know, let's talk about fucking NASA and their plans to build shit on the fucking moon. That's kind of hard. You guys want to fucking move to the moon? That's Fuck not yeah. hard at all. Well, I would the gravity's the same. Everything's the same. Huh? <clears throat> Gra gravity's not push pushing you out of the moon. You think it's pushing you out? It's pushing you out. That's Gra you gravity on the moon's not the same as here. You think? I yes, know. we know. So there's it's science not. behind it. G, they teach you in school. There's no, the, the gravity. There's no like, no. There's no atmosphere on the moon. Okay, so NASA plans to build houses on the moon by twenty forty. <laughs> So you know how much uh, you know how up you'll have to be, bro. <laughs> We're about to figure though. out. NASA is set to create an Airbnb that is out of this world. Is that a good investment? The American Space Agency awarded a construction technology company sixty mil to build a bro, home on the moon on by thought, twenty forty. Bad podcasting. That would be for not just the astronauts but also average civilians. The plan is to launch a giant three D printer that sounds smoked out to the moon and use lo lunar concrete made of rocks, mineral fragments, and dust to layer this. NASA is also working with the universities and private companies construct doors, tiles, that that that. Damn, so fucking. So NASA is gonna send a fucking 3D printer to the moon to 3D print houses. A big. They're gonna they're gonna go and build a big ass 3D printer and print out a. Hey, but let's just think about this real quick. 3D printer, right? House. We got to the moon once, supposedly. Allegedly. Allegedly. Right, and we never been back since. But we building space stations and all kinds of other shit. Huh. What's up with that? Like, this? let's just talk about that for a second. 
What about the space stations? They build space stations that float out in space and people live in them. Yeah. So they can get you out into outer space. They can't get you back. Though? But they can't get us back on the moon. Why haven't we gone back to moon? We're so we're so infatuated. Uh, uh, we're so infatuated with fucking do we, Mars uh, right now that you know Mars has water, Mars this, Mars that. But how come we've never sent man back to the moons after the first time they went? If I'm not mistaken, it was Louis Armstrong. I think I think. Uh, wait, I think Louis Armstrong's a singer, no? No, Louis Armstrong was the astronaut. If I'm I think not it was mistaken. Neil Armstrong. It was Neil Armstrong. Neil Armstrong. No, all right. Neil Armstrong, yeah, yeah. I was fucking close, dog. <laughs> I was like, it, I think uh, that's the guy that does What a Wonderful World. <laughs> that guy. Uh, <laughs> what a Wonderful World. <laughs> no, but yeah, um, I would definitely buy a crib in the moon. I'm a stunt. I'm a flex on everybody. Tell everybody they can't pull up. <clears throat> Nobody uh, would pull up, bro. We'd be too rich. <laughs> <laughs> nobody could pull up because nobody wants to fly like i mean how long does it take to get to the moon five years i'll tell you like this dog i'd be down for all that shit fool they wouldn't even have to find volunteers i'll volunteer are you buying a house out there uh, i'm not <laughs> spending the money on it but if they send me out there for a fucking test run i'll go <laughs> how much is how much are they gladly okay? come back with some fucking astronautical kush bro like what the fuck what? <laughs> astronautical <laughs> kush. Uh, OG, og martian kush oh my goodness <laughs> This guy, <laughs> could you smoke in space, bro? Hey, yo, that's I would be the, the question. Way to find out. That's what I want to know. Can yeah. you smoke so, in space? So if you do, they probably have to infuse your suit because you don't, you know. Nah, you we can't because there's no oxygen in there. You need, you need, you need oxygen and food, airflow, food. Yeah, you'd have to infuse your suit. I think that you could probably edible. If you wanted to be oh, in space, nah, I, you'd be nah, fucked up in I space, think homie. Fire, nah, I think imagine you are like the weightless faded fool. Ooh, like, oh, I, uh, you do, you do, you do an edible, you do an edible in space, you're floating around throwing up. <laughs> Bro, that'll be fucked up. Bro, I would hate for that to happen. What if you were in space and you're just like just faded fool? <laughs> what if you were in space and, space and you know, an alien pulled up on you and he was like, "What's up?" He's like, "What's up?" Hit this shit, and he patches you some OG alien space kush. What if the alien banged on you? Damn. Oh, I'd be scared, dude. They got, hey, they got laser guns. Dog. Alien... Could you imagine being high on the fucking moon and you're sitting like on the edge of a crater and all of a sudden some big glowing ass green head with big bug eyes just like starts coming out real slow looking at you all curious and shit? I was running up out of there. What? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Bro, I'm out of there. I'd be like, fool, hit this real quick. Tell me what to do. I'm out of there, bro. Let me know if y'all can beat this. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Balaclava says voice. He got like three bangers. They're talking about a rapper. Oh, okay, okay. Let's not get into that. <laughs> oh, okay. oh, oh, all right, bet, bet, bet. Um, no, but this is a crazy story though. I would definitely cop a house on the moon. Um, Nick, we need a Airbnb some shit out there. Have some alien bitches. Have some alien sex. Alien. Sex. <laughs> <laughs> alien. That hey, sound bro. dirty. That would be fucking the true definition of giving me some head. You know what I mean? Nah, bro. They use oh, probes out there. The aliens use the probes out there. They're freaky, bro. They'll probe you. Bro. Hey, do you think we could watch this video of this emo torta pepper spraying some fool on the bus? Or I've seen think, that already. Or you think it'll be demonic? Yeah, but fool, the chat hasn't. Okay. Yeah. Let's watch it. You want to watch, watch it? it? I watch think it. just put a quick clip on it. Hold on, hold on. Make sure you have your video. In the middle, so I'm not it's gonna lie. Different. Before I saw the caption, I thought it was Lupe. <laughs> I thought it was Lupe because of the way she sounded. I'm not hey, gonna lie, bro. Look, bro. I thought I thought it was Lupe. I swear. Hey, we can't see it, bro. We see oh, words. Guys, coming up. Who's coming up? Why does it look like the that? delay. Damn, bro. This is. It's called. Yeah, this bitch is weird. I can't believe she did that to him, old man. Over hot Cheetos? That bitch is crazy, He's bro. Torta. He's a real torta. Like, Give me your shit. Torta ass bitch. It's people like that, fool, that I just like, they need to be exited from the world. Whoa. Look at that old man. He don't even know what's going on. He just starstruck. Oh, look, now he gets up. starstruck from bro, the famous hot Cheeto thing. Now, look, look, he don't even know what's going on. Bro, that's why you don't go on the L.A. Metro, bro. Bro, no, that's why you don't fuck with fat, fat Mexican bitches. I'd rather bitches. pay for an Uber than get caught lacking on the bus, homie. That No, you don't fuck with bitches that wear, that wear shorts from Ross, jean shorts from Ross, like Just her. stay away from tortas in general. Bro, look at her. She got the zips all the way down from her bag. She look like she don't even go to class. She just got books in there for no reason. <laughs> she looks like walking she walking with weight on her back. Bitch losing weight. Bitch, you need to go lose weight. <laughs> if you look like that, if you if any of y'all look like that, please get in the gym. Change your life. Oh, you know what? What about this? 
Emmett mother stabbed to death after asking a couple that was tweaking by her kid's room to stop doing drugs. Are you serious? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's fuck, that wasn't Hemet. That wasn't Hemet. Let me read it. That's um fucked up. A mother of three was stabbed to death in Hemet earlier this week after she reportedly asked a pair of people to stop doing drugs That's sick, outside bro. of her home. Is there a so, video on this? Uh, yeah. Uh, officers on the scene arrived and located an adult victim serving for she, several stab wounds, and a statement from HPD said the victim ultimately succumbed from her injuries at the hospital. A witness told KCAL News the inc- incident quickly escalated into a shouting match before the stabbing happened. The suspects are believed to have then fled in an RV. Hammett police announced Who were these people? that they had arrested 27-year-old Autumn Goodwin in connection. Yeah, you know what? I have a video on this, but I don't think the video even shows the suspects. Let me see. That's bullshit. That's janky as hell. That's fucked up. I repeat to that to that mom and prayers out to her family. That's fucking crazy. <laughs> Nigga, you probably cheated on her. Shut up. <laughs> this dude's Come on, <laughs> oh my god. The monetization <laughs> everywhere, dog. <laughs> nah, but genuinely I feel like <laughs> Oh man. That's crazy, bro. That's yeah. fucked up. Yeah, that is fucked up. No cap though. All right, beat. Like sometimes I I just wonder like what the fuck did you just bug out and lose it like what happened? I mean they were probably high as fuck doing drugs so they're doing drugs tweaking. next to a kid. The mom doing her motherly duty, going to tell him to stop, and then yeah. she just- and then and then it's them saying that they fled in an RV. In an RV, that says everything. Why, why is this fool Nick laughing? It says, it says Rick break. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that looks crazy. You're paying attention to the chat. I'm over here talking about this shit, and Nick starts laughing about this girl dying. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> he said, "Rick, break dance." Balaclava said, "Shit happened." I don't know why that's funny that that he said that. He said, "Break dance." I hey, mean, Rick, come over and break dance. Who fuck it? You know what I mean? Like, all I gotta do is like move and dance and break things, and we call it a break dance. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I could. Shh. But it is what it is. Rick doesn't want to break dance. <laughs> Why would I want to break dance? Uh, hold on, let's check up on the Mad D I, page. I, I, could, I could try Next to pop story. lock and shit. You know what I'm saying? Let's I see could, what's up with Mad D. But that's as far as it goes, dog. You want me to break dance? That's what talking about me breaking my ankles and everything else with it. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> have you been? Oh. Have you ever like been into like, like? Did you ever dance, dance when you were a kid? Like yeah. Hell yeah. Who? Are you, oh, yeah. are you familiar with the jerk era? No. You know what jerking is like in uh is that what it's called? <clears throat> What's it called? I the, don't know. The LA thing where You're a jerk. Yeah, yeah, jerking, you're a jerk. Right? Yeah, it's... it was in like 2010. Like uh, 2010, fool. I was like um That fool was locked down, fool. Uh staring in a mirror, fool. You know what I'm saying? It was like a whole scene out here in, in, in LA. Nah, like we're doing like it. uh uh let's see, like what kind of music was around? Like, like dance, like I don't know, growing up, there was, like, the retro dance, like, Rebels, um, like, the whole, like, hard house club scene. Oh, damn. Underground construction. Like, that was, like, high school type shit. What kind of music was that? Hard house. Oh, house. Hard house. Oh, shit. Yeah, hard house. And then, like, you know, in the clubs, it was the, the whole, y'all gonna make me lose my whatever head up oh, in here, man. up in here, you know? Like, like that was kind of, like, me growing up. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So when you think of dances, think of that shit. I think that that kind of song, like that P.D. Pablo shit, bum, 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 like fools are just bobbing up and down in the club feeling good with a bottle and a blunt. Yeah. Like ain't nobody really paying attention to the dance. I mean, the girls are, you know, doing what they're doing. I mean, but you, if you think about it, like all the dances, like these are dances that they just get better over time. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. They just they just progress, you know? Yeah. It's a, it turns into like an artwork. You know, and and I got to give a lot of respect to the people who can do that shit. Because me, dog, I just stand there and bob my head, fool, feeling good, you know? Mm-hmm. One, moving one hand, the other hand. It just looks like I'm tapped dead. As long as you're vibing. Yeah, just vibing. You're having a good-ass time. Um, He also asked who y'all think the best Mexican rapper is. Mm. Um, I think the most lit person right now is definitely Mexican OT. But my <laughs> favorite is an oasis. 
<laughs> Yo, no joke. On, like damn, he said the same. OTG thing. Nick, OTG Nick got some fucking fire, fool. I'm not Mexican. Oh, no, Cali rapper. <laughs> I'm not Mexican. You're from Cali though. I'm not Mexican though. You're from Cali, You're not, but he's not Mexican. Okay, never mind. Decline that. Uh, favorite Mexican rapper, fool. Yeah. In your opinion, in mine, opinion? I fuck with. Let's just say opinions, I right? Because you're my... probably gonna think you're crazy. One person gonna think you're crazy, or another thing's not. So, what's your, in your opinion, who is the, who is the favorite like top dog Mexican rapper right now? I fuck with my boy, uh, my boy Trouble Kid, No Kizzy. I fuck with his shit heavy. Yeah, Trouble Kid, No Cap, Trouble Kid. Yeah, just because that's my homie, and I fuck with his shit. I don't really listen to other Mexican rappers besides like D Baby. Who do I listen to? That's like I fuck with. I really like. Um, uh, what's, does it have to be from Cali? Yeah, he's has asking Cali? Cali based. Yeah. Oh, okay. Favorite Mexican oh, rapper? He, he, he's a barrio radio station in Coachella. So, oh, so they, got it, got it. That's what they, you know, they, they promote the 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 Mexican platforms. You know what I'm saying? Got gotcha. you. Up and coming like rappers and shit like that. Okay, I'm gonna say for me, probably would have to be the one I listened to the most in California was. Honestly, I would have to say probably. I need to think about this. I don't know. I don't know because I listen to a bunch of different like artists, but I don't know who the my favorite one would be. I would have to think about it more. All right, who do you find yourself banging the most in your car? Shit, trouble kid. Yeah, like for me, fool. I think like Rowdy Racks, like is someone I always go to like to bump. You know what I mean? So I feel like Rowdy Racks is one of my favorite Mexican rappers oh, right now. I know. I know because I actually been listening to him a lot. Oh, and you know what? Frosty Chasing Doe. Yeah, Frosty Chasing Doe. But, but he be doing some singy stuff. So I don't, is it really? Is it, he's still rapping. He's the right. rapper though. Yeah, but yeah, I like I like Cam the Guapo. Oh yeah, shout out yeah, to Cam. Yeah, shout Guapo, out to Cam. Fool. I think he might be like my favorite right now. He says some like his beats are crazy. He says some really real shit. And um, who's, who's that? that? Cam the Guapo. Oh, he's hard. He's Frosty Chasing Doe's homie. Uh, he's Frosty fired. Chasing Doe had a vibe out to the show in Santa Ana. That's the J. We slid really through guy. and we seen Cam the Guapo performing. That's his homie though, right? And then we were we, we got put on right there. That shit was that shit was crazy. Yeah, Cam the Guapo is dope. He, he has some good, he has some good music. He has a song called Two Step Freestyle, and I've never heard no song like it. And that's wait, 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 wait. Cam the Guapo is the guy that that just got signed by Ocho. I'm not too sure. Uh, he works with Ocho. I don't know about. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. He, I, he's under Ocho. Yeah. I, I think I met him in the studio. He's a kid. He's young. Yeah, he's young. Yeah, he's he dope. Always, we yeah. saw him at a. I met him at Frosty Chasing Doe and I met him in the stuff. studio with um with um. He gave me a, a a weed pen actually. He's cool as fuck. He's supposed to be coming in soon. I met him with Trouble Kid. Oh really? Yeah, right there with Roddy Rax. Yeah. Him, some A and R dude, and then him. It was Roddy Rax is definitely dope too. Roddy Rax is definitely dope. Roddy Rax is definitely a realized gangbanger for real. Like he's from he's from La Puente. That's, yeah, bro. That's like like uh, he's serious. That fool goes hard. I like his uh serious. his voice. I like how he he has like a different take on the music where he his flows different. He makes me want to and, do bad you know things. What I mean? <laughs> and and it's just kind of like fast paced and it's like he has like this especially in his videos when he be doing those, that dancing and shit. That fool be getting off. That shit go crazy. But but who's your favorite Mexican uh, rapper? Uh, uh, uh. Hey, but who's your favorite Mexican rapper, like, in the whole country, though? What the fuck? <laughs> in the whole country? He's like, what yeah. the fuck? Like, so not, not El Caño. He's not really a rapper. Yes, he is. Yeah, he kind of is. He's like, uh, uh, like a corrido rapper. Yeah, you know, it's still considered. They were talking rap. about, like, like. He said like, in the whole world. Well, I said the whole country. The whole country. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'm international. I said fuck, the whole country. I don't know, bro. D baby. I would say for me, it'd be seven six two. Tri- oh no, sorry, cash out ace. Cash out ace. I don't even know Mexican. Rappers from Texas, like that, he's bro. fucking fire. <clears throat> I don't even know black rappers. Ah, uh, yo, let's tap in on the Mad Deep page and let's see what's good. I want to talk about this fucking the the dude that lost his girlfriend at the Greedo show. That's crazy. This is Honestly, insane. Like, Man, oh my god. That 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 is so sad, bro. His bitch chose up on a nigga. Like it's just like so amazing how it just got snatched up and then bro just like Oh, uh, all right, yeah, fuck it, I guess, you know. Uh, 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 I'm not gonna chase a hoe. Thanks for letting me know, bro. But, what? what? Uh, oh yeah, he grabbed her. Oh nah. He grabbed her, and look now she's him. over there dead. Oh nah. Oh, look at him. Yeah, what you think you were doing, stupid? Oh nah. Have your girl dancing up yeah. there, stupid? Oh, she cheeked up too. With your backwards hat, stupid. Nick, what if that was you? I'm too player for a bitch to be up there shaking ass like that. But what if she does it to you? Though? She would never, cause I'm too player. But like what I happened? Said. Okay, in a hypothetical, yeah. made up fantasy world, if this happened to you, how would you react? 
Don't tell I me. would do the same thing he did. Then you, you can't blame but him. But it would never happen to me. So I can't blame him. He's a fucking idiot. Oh. Man, <laughs> you're absolutely saying that you think you're sharp enough to pick up on a bitch trying to play you. If a bitch ever shows up on me like that, for sure. I you want an, oh, I got a good story for sure then, man. Well tell it. I, how do I say it without saying like exact names? Just don't say the exact names. Say Fulana, Fulana, and Fulana. All right, all right, bad. All right, bad. All right, bad. I if this bitch is watching, which I'm gonna post about it on my IG, and the homegirls that know about it, know about it, because we talked about it the other day. Mm-hmm. So basically, I we got done with this club, right? Pulled up to to, to someone's crib. And then all the homies came, you know, we were with all the homies and the homegirls because, you know, we, you know, when we, we, we go out, we go out with, you know, a bunch of guys, you know, and girls and stuff like that, part of the team, you know, Close. and, um, I, so basically we went, right? And I basically, this is, I feel like I A&R'd this because if it was not for me, bro, these people would have not have met. And, like, I felt so stupid because they ended up, like, like snaking me at the end. Like, both parties ended up kind of snaking me and shit like that, which was not cool. So we ended up going to this crib, right, that I was going to go um, see somebody. And uh, that somebody ended up, you know, choosing up. Over, over, yeah. over, over a nigga for a bus down, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I could not do nothing. She about chose up. I couldn't do nothing about it though, cause like it wasn't like we was at a club. What kind of watch was it though? Cartier, stupid bitch. Fuck you. Damn, man. I bro. I but if she was sitting next to you right now and said, "I'm sorry, baby." No, I would never say that. But I can. I couldn't believe that in my eyes that that happened to me, bro. I was freaking out over there at the house. Like I could not believe it, bro. I I told that bitch to get up and come come talk to me as soon as it happened. And so I screamed at her in front of everybody, like how per usual, like how I usually do. Scream at bitches, cause fuck bitches. <laughs> Nick, you're fucking crazy, bro. Can you kind of clarify, like, you, so you don't, but you don't yell at them, right? Yeah, I do. I scream at them. Why? I'm trying, to make, I'm trying to save you, bro. I'm trying because, to save look, you. You're look, making it hard for me. Right my, this is why I have a lot of homegirls who respect me, because what they do to, to men is what I do to women, right? I reverse the roles. So they respect me because they're like, wow, like Nick doesn't take my bullshit. Like he'll scream at me like, what the fuck? Like I can't even scream back at him. Like he's going to yell at me louder. Like, yeah, because I don't put up with your bullshit like how these simp ass niggas would. Because I can never be like that, bro. A simp? Never. So you reverse the role? Yes. So you act, so you're saying is that you act like, try to act. You ever female? seen Frosty the Snowman? Yeah. Bitch, pay me or pay me no mind. You feel me? Um, what? I'm different. I'm different. <laughs> like, 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 talking about? like a bitch needs to pay me at bread before a bitch could even speak to me. Just to pay you before she <laughs> say what? Well, I hate how Candy says this. <laughs> Look, I, mean, like, I don't want anybody to take it the wrong way or anything like that. That's just whatever. how I just feel like when I when I listen to music back then. That's what like was implemented in my head. And I have a lot of homegirls who are like, "Damn, this nigga's really a dog. Like he's really saying shit." Like, like I mean, you're just talking shit. It. So I mean, I don't even blame you. Basically talking shit. But my thing is, it's not true because there is somebody that. That I do, you know, want to like, uh, like prevent, like eventually, like make a lot of money to provide for. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, and not be a dog. But like, I was gonna ask, like, are you gonna ask your wife and kids to pay up? No, no, <laughs> like, no, no, no. Did no. that take me to school? No, 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 never, that, <laughs> never that. I, I, I kind of grew out of that, but um. There are instances where I do feel like that, you know, where I'm like, okay, like real major P again, you know, where <laughs> she kind of, but you kind of have to like tone it down a little bit because like it's not respected. Like, and as you start meeting like higher class women, higher class men, like, you you kind of gotta like ho like you know kind of uh you know like kind of don't kind of uh kind of uh you kind of can you explain what that means you kind of gotta lower down the p what's the uh you know what I'm saying what's the uh how does someone uh what's the uh so basically the uh is like when you lower it the lower it down just a tad bit 
because people are gonna look at you yeah. and they're not gonna like what you're what you're giving. They're not gonna like the energy because you're you think you're him, but you're not really him. But you know? you're not really him. No, because I we've been around people that are him, bro, and I can't act that around act like that around them because bro, their money is way different. Their cars are way faster, way better. And they have way more money, way like way more cars. We know those people. Like I've seen them. Like, like it's insane. So how does someone become him? Bro, you gotta work hard. I feel like that's a question for Big Rick because like he's him. Yeah, Big Rick is really him too. Big Rick is really him for real. He owns a big ass company, owns a bunch of stuff. I don't wanna dox him, so I'm gonna let him speak for himself. We're asking what it takes to really be him. To be who? Like, be like, like, don't say him. Be like well, yeah, a boss, a boss, like a, a boss, boss yeah, a boss. Like a boss, like, yeah. A boss is him, so. I think, the first and foremost, like, it's like anything in life. Once you get there, you just kind of learn how to do things. It becomes second nature. But it, and, and so to most people, it'll look easy, like effort, effortless, you know, and be like, oh, it, you know, you, you make it easy, but not knowing that, like, you really only sleep in a couple hours a day, you know, watching your, <clears throat> like, you have to pay attention, you know? Nobody ever going to give a fuck about you or your empire or your brand more than yourself. Because mm. at the end of the day, someone's going to be like, well, that ain't my company. Fuck him, you know? That ain't my podcast show. Fuck it. I don't care if I trash it. Like, you're the one struggling to get there. But when you get there, you know, you become, like, a hero in some people's eyes. Some people are genuinely happy to see you get there. And it's crazy because it's usually strangers mm -hmm. who are, like, happy to see, like, the story of redemption or the turnaround or the twist. And um, some people don't genuinely, why the fuck, are, you know, did he get it and I didn't, you know, the whole hating thing starts and, you know, I worked my whole life for this and here you come and just do this in such a short amount of time. And that's me just letting you know that you need to step your game up, homie, because I didn't ask nobody for permission to get here. Mm -hmm. I just woke up and decided that I was going to live. And I, I didn't want to work for nobody, you know, but at the end of the day, you, you still work for somebody. You might have your business, but you need another business to make your money. So, in a way, it's a hand-in-hand -hand thing. You understand what I'm saying? But it's it, there's a lot that goes to it. You'll make decisions that some people won't be happy with. They'll never understand why you make the decisions you make. At the end of the day, you just have to see it on paper. Does it make sense or not? And if it doesn't make sense, you can't be afraid to, like, you know, cut that part out that's not making it make sense. I mean, you got into business for profit, not losses. So if you, you know, you see something not making sense, you have to make the necessary change. And not a lot of people would be happy with a decision like that. That's you would definitely be the bad guy. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. You know, you did this. You did this. You know, da da da. you use me. Like, first of all, you got paid for everything you got. Right. Second of all, when you were getting your paycheck every week, you were very happy. Right. I was the best guy in the world. Right. Now that it ain't making sense on your end. Because my job is to see profit, and I'm not seeing profit. <clears throat> I got to make changes. I'm the bad guy now. Why wasn't I the bad guy a year ago? <coughs> Your paycheck was good and dandy. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so you're going to make a lot of decisions and choices that people wouldn't understand. And I'm going to tell you, if you worry about what people think, you won't make it. Because you're not doing this for them. You're doing it for yourself. Facts. Real. That's facts. Big fucking facts by Rick over there. Appreciate that. Appreciate those words. Big Rick always comes with the hard Big facts. Gems. For real. Let's get back into it. What else do we have on the... You want to talk about um, Fousey saying that wild shit to that cop? What did he say now? What is that? It's not old, kind of? Yeah, it is kind of old, but I don't know. Let's, Let's talk on. about what's really important today. What's really important today? Oh, wow. Today's an amazing day. Today's a crazy day. You know why? Who hit something? Why? Oh, 30K? No, because today, an album is coming out. Oh, what Drake. Is coming out. For Drake? All the Dogs by Drake. Drake. Is coming out. What is it? It's called For, for all, the, all the Dogs. For, for all the my, Dogs. For my dogs or some shit. I swear to God. For 
all no it's called for all the dogs because the acronym if you put it together it says fat d he did that on purpose for all the d's nuts are you serious he, he, he yeah. fat d he really fat d that's fucking retarded, Drake. You're a fucking idiot. You're fucking stupid. You don't think that... You're not clever at all, Drake. You're fucking corny. But Wait. you don't think, like, the album's gonna go hard, though? I think it's gonna go fucking crazy. Uh, I'm not a Drake listener. I feel like Drake was in his prime during his mixtape run, and after that, he just pretty much became a uh, mainstream... Uh, a mainstream work. But right now, he... But did you hear the song that he dropped yesterday? I don't pay attention to Drake. Oh, my God. It was fucking crazy. I don't pay attention to Drake. Well, I do sometimes, but, like, not all the time. I really mostly pay attention to, like, Blue Bucks Clan because they're yeah. fire. I feel like you really only listen to L.A. artists. Yeah, most deaf. Like, you don't listen to anybody else but L.A. artists? No. Kodak Black is, like, my favorite artist for sure. Yeah? Pleeta. Will you get grills? So, will I get... Go check my Instagram. You should go to Miami. Yes. Yeah, OTG right. in Miami would be crazy. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna listen to that shit, bro. I'm, I'm blessed. You should listen to OTG, OTG Nick. I don't know who he is, but I heard he's coming out. Nick, you don't have any songs out. How am I supposed to listen to you? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Well, where can the people? I don't find even you? know how to do that, and I don't want to pay thirty dollars a month. It's thirty dollars a year. I don't want to pay thirty dollars a year. I'm sorry. That's what you have to do. Because I, I feel like I'm not going to make it. So it's like, why am I going to do that? Just for fun? It's just $30 a year. Fuck it. Should I just do it for fun? You can make money off of it. Yeah. I mean, I really don't care. You know, it's $30. But like, I just don't want to do it. And it's like, like get clowned on, you know? You're going to get clowned on. Just because that's how it is. Everyone gets clowned yeah. on. Right? Let's get back into what about that Florida law, yo? About the Florida law that makes child rapists punt, like you know they're gonna taking them out, murking them and shit. Yes. Death penalty. Let's get on that. Yes, I mean like that's that. a good thing, right? Yes, it is. A yes. new number of laws are now. Let me move this over a little bit. So in effect, rapist. as of Sunday, the most controversial centers around the changes to Florida's death penalty. Child rapists can now face execution for their crimes. Wait. The law specifically pertains to children victim under the age of twelve. You know what, what the punishment, like, for, like, life for them, like, how, how how the death penalty should be, because Florida's, like, known for the crocodiles. Oh, they should feed Just, them to yeah, the crocodiles. Li life feed, bro. Live fucking feed. Damn. Food. That's some sick shit. And then charge bro. people, like, $100 pay-per-view to watch it. <laughs> You would yes, watch that shit. I would. And then, the and, then, and, then all, and then and then and then all that <laughs> and then all that money goes back into the fucking state or to like a nonprofit or like a fucking to help injured hey, kids you know or whatever. What's gonna the happen? Fuck, you know? They're gonna run out of money because that shit's gonna work, fool. It's gonna yeah. de it's gonna deter people. Do you think we could ever get to a state in the nation where something like that, like a pay per view crocodile pedophile eating, would be like something that would like be? Oh yeah, real. It have to be a private a private channel to do it. I don't think like a mainstream. Yeah. I feel like the the Santa's would have to be president and then and then he'd be like yeah let's do it let's run it bro, you i think that in another country but you can't do that in i think it's illegal in general to live stream someone getting like killed whether it be it's an animal though i mean yeah right but like exactly how that kid saw him yeah no of course but i think i think it is illegal right isn't it not illegal to like bro, live stream a bro, death? Bro, 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 hold on enough films they yeah the, they killed the did you hear about the the crocodile who killed the lady and they killed the crocodile for killing the lady yeah, was that at a zoo? That was, no, that was here. They got that get back. Was that a zoo? No, that was here in uh, Florida, in Florida, bro. Not too long ago. I seen a video in Florida where some dude got his arm ripped off by a crocodile, and he's just like he was drunk, so he didn't he didn't know. What People was going are on. stupid. If you if you go to Florida okay. and you fuck around, and you find out. So this law is only in Florida right now. Why isn't this everywhere? Why isn't this already a thing? Because Florida's a red state. I'm surprised Texas doesn't hasn't done this too. California, you know how California is, bro. California doesn't we got a lot of hippies, crime. bro. They're freaks. They get jiggy with that shit. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. Like, and if it, Fucking chomos. When it comes to this type of death penalty this thing, bro, they really get jiggy with states. that shit. What the fuck? Fuck chomos. It's really only in red states. Only in red states? Uh, for, for the most part. It should be everywhere. This should be a nationwide thing. Yeah, I mean... Well, what are you going to do, Sonny? Now you have to vote. Mm. Which oh. you don't like to do. If, vote? 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 It's a placebo effect. 
Well, at least when it comes to the presidents. Bro, how is voting a placebo effect? Because, fool, why, why do you voting think, why, why do you, why, what, what in your mind makes you think the 1% gives a fuck about the 99%? Okay, the vote Oof, because that percent, fucking part right percent there. Percent matters, I think. It's a placebo effect. It's to keep people thinking that they have some sort of control. It's to shut people up. It's, it's not to fucking like, do anything. It's more like voting locally where you can't control the Yeah, like, mayors, that's what I'm talking about. That shit matters. Senators, but but when it comes to the governors. fucking the fucking big guys like Trump and, and Biden movie. and Obama, no, nah, the, the, that's already all set up. It's been set up. It's like a fucking, they got like a whole like little list and grid. Hey, but if that's the case, who's up next? why did they let Trump win if they didn't? I don't believe this, bro. It's because Trump got fucking papers. He's, he's like, he's like, what's well, good? I'm already oh, famous. Right. No, I'm, 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 I'm already rich. But like what's they, good I'm Trump If they really had control over it like that Because if, if you look at it Trump didn't need to be a politician He did because he wanted to Yeah But like I'm saying like Bro if, any rich guy can say anything and be a politician Right but the fuck But if you I'm gonna tell you something though You could be a politician without being rich You just have to be good at what you do But like what is that Like if you're not <laughs> If you're not Think about it Big Rick You could say a lot right And we listen Because what Because you got the Because you got the cheese With which we're trying to get Right so if a person has money, we're gonna he's we're gonna man. we're gonna listen. Chilly. If you have no money, we're not. I'm probably not gonna fucking listen to you. Right, and I get it. But let me ask you a question. Like, who the fuck do you think I was asking questions to when I was chasing my shit? Nobody, because it was my dream. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. And so like, if you don't, if you don't chase your own dream, and look up to yourself, like the only person stopping you from getting what I got is yourself. Yeah. Is your mentality, you know? Mm. But like, you can't just be given that. It when it's your time, you'll be, you'll get it. Yes. You know, I feel like I went through all kinds of shit in life to learn how to appreciate what I have today. Because yeah. if I would have got all this shit when I was young, you'd probably blown it. Well, I was dumb. What are you talking about, bro? I would have yeah. fucking really like mm. blown an opportunity. And so I feel like Most I had death. to go through my struggles and take my losses to get here. Most deaf. But I also think Donald Trump was born into a rich family as well. No, but but what I'm saying is, like, how could you, if they really had a control in it like that, like we think they do, like the how voting doesn't really matter, know, and how bro. did Trump win? Because, bro, Trump fucked the whole shit up. Why would they it's have, because Trump, why would because they look, have look, 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 I'm going to answer this for you. I'm going to answer for I'm going to just say something. I'm going to leave it because Trump is part of the bloodline. What about Barack Obama, bro? He's black for crying out loud. What? What do you mean by that? Bloodline. You said bloodline. You could do your research if you want. I'm not gonna get into it. I'm gonna sound crazy, but bloodline, bloodline of who? Oh, bro? you mean like every president is related somehow? Barack Obama is not related to nobody. Hey, hey, hey. He's only he's only like what like fucking like 35 percent black. He's Hawaiian and something else. Every president is related. To, um, I'm not gonna get into it. I'm gonna sound crazy, but do your research if you want. You go go through go through that rabbit hole. It's bloodlines. Really? I can't believe it. It's that's what I'm telling you. When I say, why do you think? Why you? Why would you think the one percent cares about the ninety nine percent? I'm saying that for Barack a reason. Obama it's all. It's black. all. It's so what? You could still be black and and your fucking forefathers was fucking no. John Jacob Johnson the third or whatever. Barack is only half. He's only half. He's only half. He's not, not even half. He's like a quarter. Thirty five percent. He's Hawaiian too, and, and it's something else. But what? He's Hawaiian too. Stop yeah, it. Yeah, he's Hawaiian and something else. He's like only like twenty five percent black. Obama I think like the other part's white. Yeah, he's white, Hawaiian, and black. No, just no, just just deny the facts. There, there ain't First no of all, fact. Nick has no room to talk talk about this stuff because this isn't like you know what I mean. Like, There's no facts in front of me to pr to prove me to prove me right or wrong. Well, well, that's what I'm saying. Ancestors. All I'm saying is bloodline. You could do the research. You could go with the rabbit hole. You could you could go and whatever tweak out and be conspiracy if you want and do your own research. But if you're voting out here for a president, okay. So if Dwayne the Rock Johnson effect. makes it as president, what the fuck is he then? Who? Dwayne the Rock Johnson, if he runs for president, and he's not the president though. He's not running. Okay, he said, but he said he might. So if he does and he wins, then what? Bloodline. You go, go look down his bloodline. Fool. He's oh, Hawaiian. You probably, probably, you could probably look up to Obama. Oh, there we go. Now this. I'm just saying, you could do your own rabbit hole shit, fool. But Dwayne the Rock Johnson's not gonna fucking. You don't think he's gonna fuck. win? I would see John Cena before he would. I feel like Kanye Cena is not gonna. Kanye, Kanye, is Kanye, Kanye would not pass the mental evalu evaluation. Why Kanye you say that? Because Bro, you have what? to pass a mental evaluation and be in the position Brother. that you're in. He's think, he's a spaz. I think Kanye has a lot of good ideas. Out of all the people, okay, but would Kanye would Kanye this? pass the presidential mental evaluation? I think not. Out of all the people names, As I thought Kenny would have been smarter than to say something like of some. No, for, Kenny is a Kanye Glazer. 
He loves because, Kanye. Because if you Kanye watch, is his guy. Because Kanye is your father. Because if you watch the no, uh not sorry, not no jumper. Um he was actually supposed to be on no jumper. Adam Loki, like I think Adam like He never showed up. Um, oh really? Yeah, he he was like, Hey yo, I'm I'm pulling up no jumper. Da, 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 they were waiting all day and he never showed up. Oh. Well, if you watch the Joe Rogan interview, bro, he has a lot of ideas of what he thinks should be like of what he thinks should be taught to kids and like he said he was he was talking about being sustain self-sustainable learning learning uh like um what's the word like agriculture okay kanye could say all the good things in the world but would he pass the mental evaluation to become the president i don't think he would i think you're really a little bit too close-minded mm, nah i just i'm just speaking calling it what bro, it is kanye, kanye is kanye out. you really think a dude that dresses like he dresses and walks around barefoot is going right. to be in a position of power like right. president get so the let's fuck just, out of here with real that quick, shit, let's let's just elaborate like why we're on this topic we're on this topic because we want to know like the potential of presidents we came from donald trump and now we're talking about someone said how all the presidents are related somehow, some way, and now we're like proving that it's not. But nobody knows. Nobody proved that it's not. We're talking about Kanye and how he would never become president. Correct. And that's how Kanye came into this right after that. So do you really think Kanye would not be stable enough in his head to run for president? No. I yeah, I, 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 I think he could be. I think he could be. Okay, but if he ran for president people have the right to vote right yep let's just say he did get voted in mm -hmm. what do you think he would do i think he's turning this bitch up i think he's gonna i think he's gonna but i don't know he'd out say some stupid shit and lose it all how like would he, he always help? does how would he help what would he i mean i don't know what he would do what would he say what would he help what would he open up I think he has a lot of. He opened up ideas. schools with no would windows. Them politically, I would or close see, down. Where would he put money? I would need to see who his like who are his, who are what's his team around. Nah. That's what I'm saying. I think nah. it's interesting to see someone who's not like politically involved with their movement, like the the Republicans and Democrats movement. It'd be nice to see like a president who's like genuinely for the fucking country. Kanye ran independent, I think, if I'm not mistaken, for the last last election. If he's I think Green Party, actually, no, independent. I don't know. Because then if you have, like, an actual political team behind you with the ideas that Kanye has, if you have the ability to, like, execute them, um, then I feel like it would be... I feel like he has a lot of... I feel like he has a lot of good ideas. He needs... He no needs, lie. Uh, he needs someone to help him. I think if he won as president, we'd probably have, like, a purge for reals. <laughs> exactly. Like, Thank you. I think people would be like, no, the fuck, we're not about to go through this shit. We're taking matters into our own hands. And I'm not saying that he can't do it. I think that we were talking about this earlier when we went out to have a, a bite to eat or whatever, right? About what people, you know, would tolerate and wouldn't tolerate. Yeah. I feel I feel like now because Biden was so crazy, like it was so fucked up, like the last couple years have been really crazy. I feel like people don't really care about like... Democrat or Republican anymore I feel like people are actually looking into the policies now But the only ones that give a fuck about the party Is the people involved in the party We're not invited to their fucking parties mm -hmm. Yeah exactly That's their agenda to steal from us Facts Okay and that's why they call it parties It's a party we are not invited to Plain and simple So imagine if those people were out of the fucking way And we had someone who was like Genuinely for the country like dope. the Queen of England, she was for her country. I don't like, think anybody so, wants to really look into that type of stuff now. But we'll see next year because next year's gonna be an election year, and it's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be insane, like how all election years are. Would you ever run for president, Kenny? Hmm. I feel like I would like to, but I don't think I want that responsibility. Like I would, I, I it's been in my mind to mm, how could I fix this shit up. <laughs> but at the same time, it's like I don't bro, know. Bro, can you imagine like getting blamed for everything? I can see Kenny <laughs> no, bro. Just imagine trying to like have a girl in your room and you got Secret Service outside listening to you. <laughs> you know what I'm uh, saying? Can like you get your dick sucked in peace. You fucking stage fright type shit, dog. You if know anyone what I'm saying? you do like in public, like you're automatically take like because you're. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you know, but I think that's why they try to save presidencies. For people who are like beyond the you know the age of like 
sure they in their head they're always gonna feel like a certain way but 45 right i don't know what it is bro but i'm just i i know i know that five there's gonna be a certain point in your life where you're okay if you don't ever fuck again Ah oh, man that's do you understand what i'm saying like and and when that you get to that point is because like you pussy just... doesn't give you the rush that the money does or the power does mm-hmm. it's a different type of high dog and so, like, you know, to have a woman, like, throw a pussy around and be like, oh, you know, this and that. Like, I think at a certain point in your life, you realize, like, fuck that, dog. Like, I'm on some other shit, you know? And it's a different type of, like, you can just wake up every day and not worry about shit. You know what I mean? It's wicked. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's fucking, that's fucking crazy. Nick, you're bad at podcasting right now. Huh? <laughs> I definitely, I would love to run for president, but, like, once I'm, like, 70... I could see that. If I get to 70. The homie Joe Biden, part two. Fuck no. <laughs> Are you comparing Are you Rick Rick with not at 70? Biden? Running for what? president at 70? How, how, how old is Joe I Biden? I can never see you be be that He's like, uh, yeah. nameless ever in your life running for president. Fool, yeah, I won't want to be the fucking president. Bro, you Fuck being the, pre- out, being the, being right the president. Hell yeah. Like, should I nuke him? Hell yeah. I know that they're doing I'm this. Uh, uh, I know Rush is doing this for a fact. I know Rush is doing this. <laughs> this I, think that would be, I think that would be dope. Hell yeah, I, the whole I world honestly hung. would love to see... Um, like we saw, we can't saw, fuck with you and say, "Well, I'm in charge." We saw presidents like of all different, you know, nationalities. Now we have, um, you know, Obama's been in office. I'd like to see, you know, a, a different, a different, you know, a different race in the office, um, whether it's Mexican or you know, Islander or whatever it is, right? You know, just a different, a different national, and it's gonna happen because you know nowadays, like. Everybody's, you know, comes from we're, we're mixed, you know, so many different ways now. It's it's whatever. That's gonna be crazy. But though. yeah, and so it's gonna be different when you have like some of these people being presidents that are a part of these groups that we're looking at that feel like, damn, this group doesn't belong here. But eventually, these groups are gonna gain enough rights and enough, you know, privilege and power that one of them is gonna end up running our country. That's yeah, sure. And so, how are they gonna do it? How are they going to change it to where we see the opinion that no one else wanted to see? They wanted their opinion. We didn't want to see it. Now they're in office. How do you change that? Mm. And I think that eventually our country is going to de- demolish political parties. For the sake of voting, there's always going to be parties. But I think people see through the bullshit on both sides already enough to not care about what a political party is. And so, again, at another point in time in our lifetime, I think the only people that'll be a fucking part of this party are the people who didn't invite anybody to their party. And that's it. And, mm. it, won't, and it won't mean shit because I think there's more American people. When I say American, I'm talking about the people who live here. I'm not talking about one particular race because united we stand, bro. And like, well, there's enough people here to overthrow their fucking punk ass votes. You understand what I'm saying? And so how long till we wake up and acknowledge that? How long till we wake up and see like, damn, bro, like, you know, they're getting on us, bro. Like, how are you taking taxes from us and giving it to a country that don't even participate with us? Well, Crazy. But how are you going to take charge? Like, what do you think is going to change? Like, what do you think? What, takes- what type of action do you think you're going to pursue to these people that's going to differ what they think? Because you have to, like... I feel like words, well, words are not going to do do anything because words have been... I'm insane. saying that this is eventually to come. There are people who live every day and don't give a fuck about what their parties are because, like, their laws don't pertain to the way you're living your life. You understand what I'm saying? Um, it's more to, like, the people who are trained to think like robots. Oh, yeah, okay. Okay? Like, believe in this or believe in that. There is no other. That's good, that's bad. Like, hold on a second. Where did I lose my right to have my own opinion? Mm-hmm. And why are we like not being friends anymore? Because you see blue and I see red. You know, like you lose friends over elections. And really, like when I look at it like that, I think stupidity. Because if you ask somebody to really genuinely, honestly tell you why they feel the way they feel about their party, they'll be like, I don't know. I just see it on social media. My friends post it. That's true. And that's why our country's where it's at, because people are not educating themselves when it comes to voting. <clears throat> and they're not even voting. Yeah. And so, so you know, it's it, we are the people. We are the voice of change. And so back to your question, Nick, 
I can care or I can just keep living my life and not care, right? And just mm -hmm. keep dodging and weaving there. Every time they come up with something new, we just adjust to it, right? Or, or you know, it takes enough people to see it. And what, it, what I mean by that is enough people have to care. Eventually, there's going to be a time, whether I'm on this earth or not, in 30, 40 years, or your kids are, or however this works, where the people are going to overthrow our own government because they're going to be tired of their shit and they're going to reform the government. Mm -hmm. You know, they're going to, it's going to be a different way of living, bro. You can't keep running a country with technology today that we didn't have in 1776. Mm -hmm. And, and we stand by our founding rights, but they're taking our rights little by little. And the more they take them and nobody does nothing about it, the more they take. And before you know it, they'll be like, you didn't, the, this law that passed in 2010, you know, da, 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 like said, we weren't going to carry guns no more. When the fuck did we lose our rights to carry guns? Like, do you understand what I'm trying to say? It's just eventually it's just going to be so bad that the constitution isn't going to mean shit no more. I feel that. Yep. This country is about to get taken over in the next... Yeah, bro. It's about to get bad. Depends on what's going to happen in the next, like, 10 years, I feel like. I don't know, bro. Hopefully, we are able to bribe cops, though, because that'll <laughs> that'll make everything a lot better. <laughs> no, for real, bro. No. Like, I don't think you're able to bribe cops. I wish, bro. That shit would be so easy. Oh, my God. What if someone, like, stole your car, and then the guy that stole your car bribed the cop, and you didn't get your car back now? You feel? Would well, you still bro, want that? what the fuck? We got insurance for that reason, dumbass. Okay, well, let's say that. Let's say someone. No, nah, there is no. We're in America. Let's that say someone broke your camera. Let's say someone insurance, stole your shit. Let's insurance. say someone stole your barber shit, right? Insurance. And then paid off. Do you have insurance on all your barber stuff? No, nah, I'll probably have to go pay for that. That's what I'm saying. That's why it's better Fuck just you. to. Don't steal my shit. It's better just to. It's better just to, like. You know what, brother? What up? It is what it is. What do we have next on the on the? <laughs> on the, on the Let's get into we. Let's see what's up. You want to get into the Michigan Predator catcher that was you know he got offed by a fucking. He got shot, huh? By a seventeen year old and an eighteen year old. Can I rap a song? What? Wait, this isn't talent night, bro. He got shot by a 17, 18 year old. Yeah, let's get into it. Well, I heard about. Wait, you talking about the little boy, the, the little two uh boys, football players? Um, no, we're not. Oh. We're not. Michigan predator catcher shot and killed after luring out child predators an online sting. This happened in Oakland County in Michigan. A man who posed as an underage girl on social media to catch sexual predators was shot and killed, according to the Oakland Press. Damn, Officials from the Oakland County Sheriff's Office said Robert Wayne Lee, a.k.a. Bupak Shakur, confronted two men seated at a table at a restaurant Friday night. Bupak accused one of the men of being a pedophile before punching him, Bupac. which led to the man pulling out a knife. The other person at the table pulled out a gun and shot Lee several times before leaving the restaurant. Damn. Bupak was transported to a local hospital where he had passed from his injuries. Officials stated two people were in custody, ages 17 and 18. They were apprehended after a tracking dog found them. Oh, they did the dash. The men are expected to be charged by Monday, and their names are being withheld until their show up for a ride. And I hate fucking little ass kids, bro. I would hate to lose my life to a 16 So apparently it was so a 17-year-old, 18-year-old, and the guy was posing as a 15-year-old. But for the 17 year old, isn't that like still like not under, like isn't 17 and questionably some, some people old? some people will argue that the 18 year old and 15 year old isn't that much uh, that's like in high school though that's still kind of high school that's but like a sophomore dating a senior wait wait so you're yes. telling me a guy got mad because 18 so what what, what what led to him being shot was he actually threw the first punch oh yeah, so i was going i was seeing some videos of this guy i was watching well shout out to Puerto flaco he did a video on this and he had uh, a lot of good footage of of this dude and what he did this dude was a, a very aggressive predator catcher like he's breaking windows and he's slashing tires and he's like pushing people he was like you know what a very i think i've seen this confrontational catcher this is which is kind of crazy because um 
Like most most predator hey, catchers. Can you actually play those videos on YouTube right now? Most uh because no, we'll get them monetized. Not, actually, all of his shit is even online. Bro, you like know, his yeah. shit, his shit's not even online. It's like on a Patreon or some shit. No, it's on. I've seen it, bro. He he knocks niggas out cold. The only the only uh, video I've seen was Poetic Flacco's video of him on it. But I I tried looking up videos and there's no videos on YouTube at all. Like there his are, content, I, his content's like blacklisted. I okay, so them. so the. Guy that he was luring was 18, and the girl that was posing as underage was 15. So he was posing. He was posing as an underage girl, 15 year old, and he lured out 17. Well, 18. I guess the 18 year old brought the 17 year old with them. I guess these fools were planning to run a train on this underage oh, that's, that's equally. Wild. No, that's crazy. Some shit. But Bupak threw the first punch, got aggressive, and then the fool got dropped, got popped. I'm just confused as if, like, would the 17-year-old even have been... I think he was released. Trouble? Well, you know what? I think I think he was the one that shot. So, I think he was, he's the one in trouble. He killed him. Well, yeah, I know he, he killed the guy. But, like, let's say, for example, if they never oh, shot him, like, wouldn't the 17-year-old been, like... The 17, the 17 year old would be off the hook. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, right? The 18-year-old's questionable because he's a legal adult. But 15, 16, 17, that's a three-year difference. That's not well, really... That's, like high, that's what that's very saying. A three-year difference is very common. You, you, know, know? you know how many... Bro, you know how many... Seen, oh, when I was in high school, how many freshman girls I saw dating no, yeah. guys that were already 18 they were still 14? Kind of weird, but it's not illegal. I mean, it's technically, like, illegal. Well, that's like... Whoa, 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 whoa. Technically, well... Hold eight, on, my nigga. 18-year-old? Wait, you said what? He lured out an eighteen year old. Yeah, he like he lured an eighteen. There was no and eighteen the, year olds fucking all fourteen year olds in my school. Fifteen. There was no seniors dating any freshmen in your fourteen. School. Fifteen. He posed as a fifteen year old girl. Fifteen, definitely. Fourteen, no. Well, we we're talking about he posed as a fifteen year old girl. A lot of people do that. I don't know why he even thought to even punch, bro. He's a weirdo. Who? Him. I'm talking about Bupak. Yeah, oh, bro. He's yeah. saying he's a weirdo for uh, launching on him. Yeah, bro. Eighteen year olds. That's what I'm saying. Like, there's like that's bro, a three year difference. Could that's, still be in high school, bro. Okay, I so feel like a fifteen year old and an eighteen year old is not weird. I that's thought, bro, was I feel like out like a forty five year old to like a six. I don't want people to think I'm weird in the comments, but bro, it's like it just doesn't feel weird because like three year difference, really. Like, I mean, yeah, it, they, on, you bro. could like you could be going to high school with this person. So like, yeah, that's true in, in, in that situation, but. Not that it's like cool for 15. an 18 year old to date. I mean, but bro, like there's 15 year olds killing people, so it's like you're you know what you're doing. I just it, remember people that were 18 in senior year that would date people like they had turned 18 like in January, but they were with a girl like that was a year younger than them, and then they were 17. So basically, it's normal in other countries, but it's not normal here. Well, if this would have been, I think uh, that's what it is. This would have been fuck oh, you, no, American schmucks. But this is crazy though. I think I think um this is a wild story. There's this a way to do it. Situation. There's a way to catch predators. Yeah. I think if you're gonna catch shout a predator, out to CC Unit, he's one yeah. of the best catchers out here. He's got so many arrests. He has law enforcement involved from the very beginning. R.I.P. to him though. Yeah, sure. R.I.P. to him. R.I.P. to Bupak. But yo, Bupak was fucking wild, and I was seeing yeah, the shit I he was doing videos like 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 uh fuck. like he was doing some some good shit for the community. But as far as like basically assaulting these people, and breaking people. windows, and like yeah, he would hurt people, bro. <laughs> he kicked the person. Not that they. Out. It's not that they didn't deserve it. They. Do deserve it, but it's kind of like I'm not surprised you got shot. You know what I mean? But it's like, why would you fire on an 18 year old trying to? Because fight? because I guess I guess I, I guess maybe the dude looked older than he was, or you know what I mean? There's been a maybe. lot of 18 year olds, bro. Yeah, that look like I've seen 25. some. Yeah, some 18 year olds that look older than me. I'm like, what the fuck, bro? 18 year olds that look like they're 25, and it's like, damn. Bro, There's some dudes so out here, dudes out here looking rough but at 18. Wouldn't, but wouldn't he like know already that they're um? He if probably told he probably he told might not, boy he was like twenty. He, he might not have known. He might have yeah. He might have been like, oh, this fool lied about being oh, eighteen. You know, and he's way older. Oh, uh, nah, you know maybe, 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 you know yeah, you maybe, maybe. I feel like eighteen year olds like that don't really lie about like fucking like oh I'm fucking a fifteen year old like they're not gonna really lie about it because it's like oh I'm only three year difference because eighteen year olds are not stupid and either. I think part they of the, know it's only a three I think year part of the too. reason why he launched on the dude was because. Uh, I, I read it's some. That's his I, theme, bro. No, listen. I read somewhere else. I think it was poetic flock that report that that he had caught this dude previously, like three months ago. Talking to a girl that was under eighteen. He, he's eighteen. He as the same situation. He said that he was pretending to be a girl. That the so he ran into the dude twice. 
So I'm guessing maybe he's like, oh, this guy again. What the fuck? And fucking just launched at him because he's like, no. how many times you got to teach you this lesson, old man? Like type of shit. You and, feel me? And, <laughs> and uh, for all the people watching in Pasadena High School when I was in school, all y'all weird ass, uh, old ass people that were dating those uh, 15 year old girls. Oh, no, no, 14-year-olds, you're a weirdo, I swear to God. Y'all know who y'all are. I know who y'all are. I used to see y'all walking down the hallway with them, spitting game, you freaky idiots. Being 18, yep. about to graduate, hitting on a freshman coming in. Uh, weirdos. It's, I've seen it happen. It's weird, but at the same time, like, I, if if this story would have been like, weirdos. oh, Bupak lures out, like, a 30-year-old man trying to, like, talk to a 13-year-old girl... It's like, okay, that makes sense. You're going to fire us, you know? Like, that's a little bit weird. But if you're firing, like, on someone who could still be in high school with this person that they're talking to, it seems a little bit irrational yeah, to bro, do that. you're going to school with that person, you... I'm not going to lie to you. If, yeah, 1815 is cool. 1814, no, nah, that's a problem because I used to see people like that. But you you might even have class with that person. That's what I'm saying. This 18-year-old could be... Have, yeah, have class. yeah, bro. That might even be your partner. You might not even have, have explained age. You might have just fucked and then after been like, wait, I, never, I don't even really know you like that. Like, Yo, there's a what? lot of girls... Look, bro. Back in the day, Nick, when I was what? when I was I Nick. when I was young, bro. Back in the day, <laughs> look, bro. When I would fuck, sometimes I didn't even know shorty like that. Like I would just fuck her, and then I, bro. I, I swear to God, sometimes I didn't even know their name. I would fuck. I didn't even know your name, and after I would be like, I don't even. Like I would think and be like, bro, wait, did I ever ask her her name? Like I don't think I know her name. Like so you just, how did you even? Huh. Like how'd you get to how'd you get to that point without even asking your name? You I feel like you kinda just meet at parties and shit. You would take numbers down, you would just you just text, get the the business done, and but you would never ask for names because you're so caught up and worried about fucking that you don't give a fuck about the bitch's name. All she is is some pussy. What do I care about getting to know you? <laughs> Jesus Christ, Nick. Nick's Long live OTG. <laughs> We're still here. <laughs> he's he's saying he's still, since his career he's about to get canceled. <laughs> <laughs> he's about to get canceled. He's about to get canceled. <laughs> nah, I'm playing with you. Do you have anything else to talk about? Uh, we got a gang of shit, but we can get into it next time you guys want. We, we we've been going at it for like a good like. Yeah, bro. It's about eight twenty. About to get eight thirty. Yeah, bro. We at one twenty seven. Oh yeah, an hour twenty seven minutes. Yeah, I want to go. Episode. Yo, it's pretty. Yo, Mad Deep Live, pretty good first episode, man. You know what I mean? We're we're just getting used to this live shit. Shout out to everyone that's been in the chat today. You know, I what got what someone mean? cooking me food. How many people do we got watching right now? Uh, let me see. Let me top of my phone real quick. I like two or three. Uh, Shout like, out to everybody five, that was like watching. Five or six people, I think. So. Two or three loyal customers, though, for sure. Shout out to shout out to everybody in the chat watching. Thank yeah, you. Just, there's seven people watching this. We really know. appreciate you. We shout love to, you. Shout out to Balaclava that was in the chat. Shout out to Voice of the Var that was in the chat. Shout man. out. Shout out to uh, Audrey. Shout, shout out. out to Crimea River. Shout out. Shout out to Southwest Connected. Shout out. Oh. <laughs> hey, can we play a song? Nah, bro. Can I, rap, can I do a freestyle? You freestyle right now. Go ahead. No, no, no beat. beat. No beat. No beat. Nah. Mm. Hey. Nah, bro. This is not gonna work. Come on, you gotta freestyle. Just rap. It's off the grid the weekend, see me, I might be with the bitch in the back and in the back seat. <laughs> Shout out to everybody in the chat, this is Matt Deep, tune in next time, y'all, I'm out this man. Yeah, hey, Matt Deep, man, 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 man. OTG Nick, Kenny Malice, Kenny, Big yo. Rick, the ghost with the most, y'all already know, I ain't gotta say no name cause I stay nameless. Nameless. Yes. But yo, thank y'all for tuning in. Shout out to everybody, this is big for us, first live. <laughs> All right.